Good day, this is Professor Will, CBMD PhD. Today's Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. It is 6.55 and 1 second p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is a continuation of microbiological research. So let's hop to it. Currently, a total of 4,700 validly published prokaryotic species are recognized. In contrast, the number of bacterial species present in just one type of forest soil has been estimated to be 13,000 or even 53,000 species. In line to these more recent findings, the earlier estimate of a fraction of already cultured bacterial species of 20% appears to be much more optimistic. This view is also supported by numerous molecular investigations of 16 srRNA gene sequences in natural bacterial assemblages that indicate a significant fraction of bacterial present in the environment has not yet been recovered by cultivation-based approaches. The 16 srRNA gene libraries of natural bacterial communities usually do not match sequences of strains isolated from the same or similar samples. Even a large cultivation campaign during which 659 bacterial isolates were obtained from grassland soil did not yield any strain with a 16 srRNA sequence corresponding to the dominant strains in the natural community. In some cases, this discrepancy may simply be the result of low number of cultivation attempts, since even conventional cultivation trials continue to yield novel phylotypes of bacteria and the number of recognized species continuously increases at a rate of about 109 species per year. In many instances, key reactions and biochemical cycles appear to be mediated, not by the frequency isolated prokaryotes, but rather by other prokaryotes that are phylogenetically unrelated and mostly not yet cultured. In addition, first culture independent analysis of large genome fragments retrieved from natural samples have recently uncovered bacteria present in the natural environment that have a previously unrecognized physiology. Only in a few instances could numerically important bacterial species apparently be isolated. With the aid of modern molecular methods, some information on the physiological capabilities of not yet cultured prokaryotes can now be obtained, even down to the single cell level. Though culture and dependent techniques have improved, they still provide only limited insights into the physiology of prokaryotes. Therefore, the role of not yet cultured prokaryotes in the environment cannot be fully appreciated until these microorganisms are available for detailed physiological and molecular studies. So far, our present methods for the enrichment, isolation, and cultivation are largely based on concepts developed first and foremost for the isolation of medically important bacteria. The failure to cultivate many of the ecologically relevant bacteria clearly indicates that there is a need for the development of novel cultivation methods. Successful enrichment, isolation, and cultivation of prokaryotes critically depend on the choice of appropriate growth media and incubation conditions. The work of Lowen's past year, 1822 to 1895, which marks the beginning of scientific microbiology, follows a scientific discussion over the next 200 years. On the issue of spontaneous generation, which assumes mice, frogs, and lower forms of life could develop spontaneously in decaying organic matter and mud. Past year's experiments with his famous swan neck flash ruled out spontaneous generation and at the same time laid the foundations for aseptic manipulation and sterilization. Questioning the belief of eminent chemists of his time, Pasteur provided the first notion of the microbial nature of fermentation in milk and of anaerobic life. Other studies revealed that fermentation of sugar and alcohol, wine and vinegar, and putrefaction of meat all were caused by microorganisms. Each particular kind of fermentation was accompanied by the development of a specific type of microorganism. Good day, this is Professor Will, CBMD PhD on Microbiology, Bioinformatics, and Computer Science. We well, hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.